Edmunds Southwold Pile Ale. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Boys Reviews. <coughs> I've just been outside, it's really hot, it is it is Sunday, April the 5th, 2020. It's really warm out there, I've just cleaned two cars, mine and the missus, and I am absolutely knackered and in need of a beer. Now, I was going to review a Belgian um, double buck, or Belgian double from Br- Grimbergen. I'm going to leave that for another day because this is not the day for a a Belgian double. This is the date for a nice cold pale ale. Now this one is from Adnams and I reviewed their lightly hopped lager yesterday and that was brilliant but I can't get the video out of format so you have to wait for that till I see what's going on with that. Um, I've got this one this is their mosaic pale ale and uh, it looks really good. Uh, of course Adnams really good brewery i'm really impressed with some of the stuff that they've done and so far i've not had a bad one from them and i'm hoping this is not going to let the side down because so far they have been 100 percent really good and hopefully this is not this is a good one uh, it's their jack brand which i'm not sure is some sort of cheaper version but the the lager was the jack brand as well and that was brilliant so let's see what's going on with this. Okay, so this is a 330ml bottle. It is 4.1% in the volume. It's a single hopped pale ale. Now what that means is they've only used one hop in the four stages of the brewing process. And the hop they're using is Mosaic. Now Mosaic is renowned for being very complex. It's got lots of fruit, but it's also got a little bit of earth and a little bit of pine as well. It's a really popular hop to, to be using in uh, pale ale you see that a lot and sometimes it's substituted for citra but mosaic is a definitely a good one and uh, this has also got um uh lager malt pale ale malt in it as well so it does look promising uh, what does it say on the side of the can ingredients uh, water malted barley hops yeast and that's it that is as far as it goes and it's 4.1 as i say and it looks promising. Let's get it open, let's see what it smells like. Right, cracking this one open, on the nose, out of the bottle. Before I do that, there is the cap, red cap, with the Jack Brand logo on it from Adnams, and it's got Jack Brand written on there, but it is obviously Adnams on the nose, out of the bowl. Yeah, big grapefruit and pine on that. But not, not much fruit. Can't really get much more out of the bowl. Let's see what is going on in the glass. Now, as I say, I am dying for a beer because it is warm out there and I've been working on the two cars and I am absolutely gasping. So there it is in the glass, slightly hazy, fair bit of carbonation, looks good from what I can tell on the nose. Oh yeah, getting that now. More fruit, more bitter grapefruit. Bit, bit more pine on that now as well. But there's also sweet fruit there too, like a uh, peach or mango or something like that and then yeah a little bit of pine again it smells good before i get it down the gullet there is the label it's to say it's the jack brand and that's the logo for their jack brand beer on the back there is the gump pause it now if you want to see what's what So, 
Let's get it down the hatch. Cheers. That's not too bad. There's a lot of pineapple citrus, a lot of pineapple bitterness on that. And there is quite, quite a fair bit of fruit. But what I'm also getting is there's a, a very, very slight oniony type sort of flavor to it. Now, you normally get onion or sometimes even garlic from hops that are very, very fresh when you dry hop with these really fresh hops, you sometimes get that oniony taste. And I've tasted it in a couple of beers. This has it in very, very small amounts, but it's still there. But there's lots of grapefruit bitterness on that from the hops and some slight fruit on there as well. Um, not much of a malt on the back end and it's more bitterness all the way through even down to the you know the aftertaste as well but it's not bad it's quite refreshing as I say this is cold it's coming out of the fridge and there's a dry mouthfeel to it which makes you want to just keep drinking more and more I think what it's lacking is a bigger multi back end on it because that would have been really good if it had a bit more biscuit malt or even a bit of caramel malt on the end of it but there isn't really it's sort of bitterness and dryness all the way through which some people like i prefer a little bit of a you know a balance on it i prefer that you know i don't mind the bitterness don't get me wrong but i prefer a little bit of the you know sweetness that comes from biscuit malts and lager malts which they say is in here as well but having said that it's not bad it's very refreshing um, it's got big big fruity flavors to it mostly bitter though there's not much sweet fruit in that overwhelming grapefruit and like a I can't think of what the the fruit would be maybe pineapple but bitter pineapple if you can imagine that the pineapple sweet I know but that's what I'm sort of getting from it but it's quite nice it's going down well and I I quite like it not a standout one from Adnum so I think this is one of them ones where I think I think it's just slightly lacking something, lacking a bit of biscuit malt on the back end and that would have been absolutely amazing. But can't win them all. So what's the verdict? Well, as I say, it's light, it's very refreshing, it's got that bitterness on it and that for me is not balanced out by a nice you know, back end of biscuit malt or in any malt, to be honest, it's bitterness all the way through and that's making it quite crisp and dry. But it's very Moorish because I don't know whether it's me because I've been out working and all that, but it's going, it's going down very nicely indeed. As I say, I'm, I am getting that slight onion taste and aroma from it, which you get from fresh hops not really complaining, I've tasted it before. I know it's nothing nasty, if anything, it's the, the hops are a bit fresh. But, oh, having said all that, it's not bad. Um, I would give this a solid seven out of 10, and would I recommend it? There's better pale ales out there, but this is quite good. If you see this, I'd say snap it up. And if you, if you like, you know, bitterness all the way through, 
on your pale ales and your IPAs because that's what Mosaic is the favoured hop for IPAs and, and pale ales, especially American pale ales, then you're going to like this. Um, there is better pale ales out there, but it's not bad. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10, and I'd recommend it if there isn't any better pale ales out there. And remember, beer is working class champagne.